job. It's your cue. It's time to cut the umbilical cord. But I've forged my way in the dark before. I can do it now. I have to. To protect my daughter. Congratulations, Dad. It's a boy. It's a boy? I'm fucked. And so is he. Maybe we can use his real name. We're a family. Me, a boy, and his mom, who is usually great, but occasionally murders people with her bare hands. So you have a new baby? Yeah. Yeah, Henry. Yeah, sometimes we call him 40. Sometimes Henry. A good therapist would dig into why our child is named after her dead addict's codependent brother. I'd imagine parenthood would feel like an essay by Nicholson Baker. Tiny moments made magnificent. Yeah. Turns out, parenthood is Groundhog Day as written by Jean-Paul Sartre. Joe. Despite living in some Greek myth about pushing a boulder of baby poop up a hill, it's incredible, the urge to protect. I feel it in my bones. I would do anything for him. What I don't feel is connection. The more I try to bond, the more he cries. He knows we don't have it. Why does my own child not like me? Whenever I hang with Henry, I'm reminded of two things. One, he hates me. Two, I have to protect him at all costs from what happened to me. You know, babies can tell when your heart's not in it, Joe. I, what? Just, no, I'm sorry, it's all in my head. What are you doing? Are you bringing him? You wanna leave him in the car? It's like bad parenting 101. Witnessing us dig up a body isn't. Developmentally, he has barely any depth perception, which you should know. What I'm hearing? is that even as I'm doing everything in my power to save my child, my parenting skills aren't up to your standards. Is that right? Is this really what's important right now? So Joe, how have you found the transition to fatherhood? An existential tangle of dread and failure. Oh, and also murder. That's great. And there he goes every time I touch him. Just fucking let me do it, Joe. Joe. What? Joe. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm trying. I'm in over my head, he said, using an idiom his son will never understand because it's impossible to communicate with babies. Yeah, right, exactly. So wait, you don't hate me? <laughs> yeah, well, same here. Same here. Okay, yeah, it's a good talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, go get some rest. I got him. Really, really. I got him. Mm -hmm. I got him. Thank you, thank, nice you. Oh, don't thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Oh, okay, Henry. Coming in hot, Henry. Hey, <laughs> got a bank to the left. Here, look. What's Henry like? Oh, he's a terrorist. Oh. No, he's he's adorable. He's sweet. He's a big fan of Hemingway and Fitzgerald. It's not a surprise you've seen him with the bottle. <laughs> I really hope he's better than me. Hey, I'm sorry. They had more questions. Joe, I'm at the hospital. Henry has the measles. I've been kidnapped, held at knife point, held at gunpoint, lost a finger been locked in a cage, but in my history of scared, this is the most scared I've ever been. You have to get better. I haven't always been the best person, but being your dad is changing me. What does it mean to be a good father? To protect, yes. Can you be a good father if you're a bad man? 
It's not the kind of father I want to be, and it's not the kind of mother you want to be either. Thank God. Our little scout will be better for it. I swore that I'd become a better man for you and I tried. I didn't have good parents, but I know what a good parent does. Protect. Even if that means protecting from. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This isn't forever. I love you more than anything. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you.